Hey everyone, it's Phil here and you're watching STV Sydney Trains Vlogs and welcome to Sydney Trains Vlogs The Movie 3. It's all about three really. The third movie, filmed in three states, New South Wales, Victoria and Queensland and this is also to celebrate three years of Sydney Trains Vlogs. So this movie is um, pretty much trains and trams in the three states I just mentioned. This movie has been filmed differently than the previous two. It's filmed in chapters, so chapter one being Sydney Suburban, chapter two being Melbourne Trains and Trams, so on and so forth. The chapter list is in the description below. At the end of the video, there is also a bonus footage chapter, which is also pretty cool. So sit back and enjoy. At Redfern we have a Tangara, it's showing up as special on the indicator screens, it is passing through platform number 11 at Redfern, the set is T3. That was S140 and S141 on an empty train through Platform 6 at Redfern. That's K60 through, empty through platform 25 at Central. The train on platform 20. That's K69 out of Platform 3 at Epping. Looks like some sort of driver training or something. Approaching Platform 1 at Pennant Hills, we have a Penrith service. T110 leading. T50 trailing. Its next stop will be Beecroft, followed by Cheltenham and Epping. It will then continue through the Epping to Chatswood rail link, down through the city, and on to Penrith. Approaching platform two at King's Cross, we have a Bondi Junction service. 
this train will stop after Kings Cross at Edgecliff and then Bondi Junction. The set numbers were T21 and T11. At Cabramatta we have a Liverpool service arriving into platform number two. M4 leading. After Cabramatta, this train will stop at Warwick Farm and then Liverpool. M16 trailing. Not the most common sight in the world. We have an S set replacing a Waratah on a Penrith service departing Blacktown Platform 7. The leading four cars, S105, the trailing four cars, S53. The next stop will be Duneside, they'll then stop the all stations to Penrith. Arrive on platform 7 goes to Emu Plains. First stop Duneside, then all stations to Penrith and then Emu Plains. Departing Windsor, we have A44 for an all stations service to Richmond. Approaching platform 3 at Summer Hill we have a Homebush service, this train will stop all stations. The set number is A67. Well, we have a Waratah bound for the City Circle passing Platform 2, and that set number is A8. Arriving at Circular Quay on Platform 2, we have a C set bound for Liverpool. Train on platform two goes to Liverpool via 
The leading four cars, C8. trailing four cars being C4. Their next station will be St James followed by Museum Central then all stations to this uh, to sorry um, Liverpool via Bankstown. The first fail of the video I think. Approaching platform two at St James we have a central service stopping at Museum and Central only after St James. It is an M set. M18 is the leading set. M10 is the trailing set. A47 departing platform 2 at Kingsgrove empty. This train's just terminated. Platform 2 goes to Reedsby. First stop, Beverly Hills, and then all stations to Reedsby. At Dundas, we have a Carlingford service approaching the platform. After Dundas, this train will stop at Tilopia, then Carlingford only. Arriving at South Yarra Platform 5, we have a Siemens set bound for the City Loop.
that was a comment set out of platform six for a Pakenham service. Comment set arriving into platform number five here at South Yarra, 338M leading. M trailing. At Southern Cross, on platform 11, we have a comment set running a Craigieburn service. Frankston service departing platform 12, comment set. We've got a Glen Waverley service arriving into platform number 10. It is an extrapolis set. We've got a Siemens set arriving into platform 11 Sunbury service. VL54 departing platform number three at Footscray. Yeah, hi. At Footscray for Southern Cross. L44 is the trailing set. In the distance we have another velocity. 
I'm not too sure where it's going though. But it'll it will arrive into platform four. The L51. Okay, it's going to Warren Ponds, I think that's how you pronounce it, I'm not too sure. VL40 is trailing. We have a central service returning from Hamilton, about to pass through platform one at Cheltenham. V15 and V24. Its next stop will be Epping, followed by Eastwood, Strathfield and Central Sydney Terminal. At Wyong we have a Hamilton Newcastle service departing Platform 3. It is set H21. Approaching Mount Victoria on the Blue Mountains line, we have a Sydney Central service returning from Lithgow. The leading set is V23. And the trailing set is V5. At Hawkesby River we have a V set bound for Sydney about to pass through platform number one. It's V8. Arriving at Wollongong on platform 2 we have a Kayama service, it's an 8 car Oscar. After Wollongong this train will stop all stations to Kayama. The leading set is H9. The trailing four cars, H6. And arriving into Wollongong platform two again, we have Oscar set H20, it's a waterfall service.
That'll be stopping at Thoreau, Helensburg and Waterfall only. We have a V set arriving and terminating into platform number 17 at Central. The set is V19, this came from the Blue Mountains. Rear four cars, V43. At Erskineville we have MTPV2 passing platform 3 I'm at Glenfield on the south line and we have quite a rare sight approaching platform 2. We have ATP test train Y2 which is pretty much just a V set with test equipment in it. It just came to an abrupt stop because it had to trip past the signal. It's just got to build up a little bit of air with the compressors and then it will be on its way. It's been doing some testing between Glenfield and MacArthur today. Y2 is now crossing over and going into platform 3 where it will be heading back to MacArthur.
longest at Strathfield waiting for the Indian Pacific to pass. It would usually have an NR class and a DL class on it, but today it will have an NR class and an 81 class. That was the Indian Pacific through platform number three at Strathfield, headed towards Perth. And that's MTPV2, a track inspection vehicle, departing Richmond Platform 1. Shortly passing platform number 5 at Blacktown, we'll have a, a special train from the Lithgow State Mine Railway. It is called the Vivid Express. It is going to Central via Olympic Park. That was 661 leading and 726 trailing. At Leightonfield we have a Cube 1100 class leading a containerized grain train. And that was rail motor HPC 402 through platform number two at Hawkesbury River. Departing Roma Street platform eight, we have SMU 238 leading an Ipswich service.
SMU 230 trail engine. Departing Florida Gardens, we have uh, G-Link unit number four, bound for University Hospital. Approaching South Brisbane Station, we have a Gold Coast service arriving into Platform 1. IMU 181 and 175. And that is G Link tram number 11 has just arrived at Broadbeach South. There's a Nambour service arriving into Platform 4 at Toomble. This train will terminate at Northgate due to track work. EMU 6. EMU 25 is trailing that service. That's EMU 7 and 67 bound for Caboolture. Again, this train will terminate at Northgate due to track work on the Caboolture line. And this is still at Turnbull. a pair of IMUs bound for uh, Brisbane Airport. We have a Broad Beach South service arriving at Surface Paradise. And that's G-Link Unit 3, while we have G-Link Unit 6 bound for University Hospital. Departing Narang for a Varsity Lake service, we have IMU 105 leading.
AMU 103 trailing. Departing Newmarket, we have SMU 222 leading a Fernie Grove service. And SMU 244 trailing. This train will stop all the stations. Arriving at Albion on platform 4, we have a Caboolture service. EMUs 45 and 75. At Toomba we have an Intercity Express train passing through platform number 2. It is bound for Gympie North. That is Endeavour set number one into platform number one at Waratah on the Hunter Line. It is a Hamilton service. Passing Redfern platform two, we have an Explorer. That Explorer came from Central. It had just terminated from its Armadale Moree service or ex Armadale Moree service. Now it's just going into Everly to Stable. We have the Sydney XPT returning from Grafton about to pass Platform 1 at Waratah. XP 2015 was trailing, I'm not too sure what was leading. Its next stop will be Broadmeadow. Hunter set 2 departing platform 2 for an all station service to Maitland and Talara. This is that Ferris Field. Arriving into Wyong Platform 3, we have the Armadale Moray Explorer. Grafton XPT about to pass through platform 2 at Pennant Hills.
was the Armadale Moray Explorer through Platform 3 at Epping. Sydney XPT passing Cowan. Brisbane XPT passing platform number, number two at Cowan. Here we have the Grafton XPT slowly passing Metford. It's just got a red signal because there is an endeavour not too far in front of it. Approaching Blacktown on platform number 5 we have the Sydney XPT returning from Dubbo. This train sets down passengers, does not pick up. Approaching Mossvale, we have a terminating service from Campbelltown. It's a mix and match set. The front car is off Endeavour set 13 and the trailing car is off Endeavour set 11. Arriving at Paddy's Markets, we have a Dali Chill service, serviced by Sydney's newest tram, 2124. And we have a central service arriving into Paddy's Markets. It is Unit 2116. On a dark and gloomy Monday morning, we have an Airbus 3 approaching Exhibition Centre for a service to Central. The unit number is 2115.
Approaching the John Street Square light rail stop, we have a central service. Twenty-one twenty. Approaching Jubilee Park, we have a central service. It is Approaching Arlington, we have a Dulwich Hill service. Twenty-one twelve is the first Airbus three. Here we have flight number EY454, it is an Airbus A380 Rego A6 APE returning from Abu Dhabi.
Okay everyone, that's the end of the movie. I really hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to give the movie a thumbs up, subscribe to Sydney Trains Vlogs if you haven't already, share the video, and I'll see you all in the next vlog. Stay tuned, and goodbye for now. Mm -hmm.